previously on Eurotruck Simulator 2. Shit. That wasn't good. What an episode this is turning into. Uh, I took 14% damage, but it seems it was his fault. I should have put I should have put the hazard lights on. Christ, that's done me some damage. Hello and welcome back to Eurotruck Simulator 2. Um, this week I've got instructions. Hang on, let me just click on some buttons here. And I, I like the way I actually kind of kind of like the, the way this was worded. It was really nicely worded. Um, it, it was worded by um, Hatman. He worded it in, in in such a way. He basically went, "I want you to write this down, or you'll want to write this down." Should I say, "You'll want to write this down," like we write things down in 2022? Nobody writes things down. We just take photographs of it all, don't we? Anyway, so so I've just clicked over to my meal my email uh, my meal my email um, find yourself some roof lights after that you installed them get back inside the cab press f4 on the menu to bring up it'll bring up a menu press 3 to adjust the lights so they point in the right direction the option is to, to, to high beam them click on that and below that you want to do the option for roof auxiliary all oh, right so you've got to attach the top of them and then you want to Click off that and exit the menu and you'll be back in the cab and press K for brights. Because I missed brights. The other week I was quite dark. It was quite a dark run. Right, we'll get back to that in a minute once I've found some lights. I also got a message from uh, Bobster. Uh, not Bobster. Um, Bobster's on holiday. What am I talking about? He's on holiday, peoples. Um, no, not Bobster. Um, from Mark Middleton. who said, I need to buy some more trailers as well. So so we'll we'll buy a couple of trailers while we're at it, okay? So I'm going to buy a few trailers. So we'll do that. Where's, where's the trailer dealers? Let's do that quickly right now. Uh, trailer manager. Trailer. Uh, Trailer purchases. Where have we got trailer purchases? Trailer purchases there. Right, okay. Let's just buy a couple of, of, of simple trailers. Let's just get a, uh, one of them. Purchase that. Where do I want to put it? Let's just put it in... Uh, let's start at the far end. Let's start over here. Let's put one over here in, 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 in Liverpool. Um, yeah, there we go. So, one in Liverpool. There's a flatbed for you in Liverpool. Store it in that garage. Yes, I do. Right, okay. Purchased one of them. Let's get one of these curtain side ones here. Uh, let's purchase that. And let's chuck that. Where's the next closest one to Liverpool? I think it's this one here where we ended up in uh, Ossenbrook. Um, so let's put one in there. There we go. Stick one in there. And basically, it should generate more cash this way, I think, well, because of more jobs that I can actually do. Uh, let's go over this page. Let's get one of these log ones. And let's purchase that. And let's throw that into... Uh, so it's awesome, Brook. Let's throw that into Istanbul. So we're right the farthest we can bid over that direction, Istanbul, the Baltic states. So there we go. That's in Baltic states. Okay, let's get a food, uh, food tank, a food tanker and paint. I'm guessing liquids, foods, liquid food goods. Um, maybe. Let's get a steel dumper. I think. Let's get a steel dumper. We'll push one of those. We're using all my money now for a change. It's been a while since I've used money actually. Uh, let's chuck one of them into uh, France, onto Bordeaux. There we go, one of those. So at least my trailers are getting used. And let's get a... Um, let's go a little higher here, m more expensive ones. Get, let's get a... Um, oh, we can't do that one. Let's go with... Let's see what else we've got here. These get very big, don't they? Dry freight ones. General good and dry freight. Let's get one of them. Let's purchase one of them. And let's throw that into here. <clears throat> to Bari. I've got loads of, of places that are sort of on my list and I'll get, I'm going to go back right back over here and I'm going to get all these curtain ciders and I'm going to purchase that and I'm going to throw that into uh, wherever this is Lin, um, um, oh what's it uh, Liv, Liv, Livinor, Livinor or whatever it is, where it's where um, the, the um, Michelangelo thing is so so that's where, the, that's where that achievement is actually, the way you have to do, go to a specific quarry and do that realistically if it's a quarry I probably need one of these flat bed ones there actually so let's purchase one of those and let's just chuck it in something completely ridiculous over here in Spain into Barcelona it's amazing how many places I actually don't have a garage in, you'd think it would, it would, would have more than those, so there we go we've got a few tr things, it should generate me more income I think is the answer to that, that question with what, what this will achieve it should generate more income because they've basically got the trailers to take the loads, so they should take those out, I've also noticed they've got skills here that I need to upgrade, so let's do that another one on eco driving because that's all that's left and available to me um, I've maxed out all of the various 
there's various um, AR, uh, uh, ADR um, things, which basically I, I'm guessing the ADR stands for professional transport, some sort the, the, the sort of certificates and things like such as dynamites, fireworks and munitions. So there we go. So we'll max that one out. Let's put that on there. More eco driving. Brilliant. Right. Okay. World map. Quick. Let's get these. These get, let's get these lights that that I was that was suggested to me. So let's go there and do that. I've only got one more place to do actually in Italy. Just as an interesting thing, we've got to go to this. Uh, Tirano down here, so so hopefully we can find somewhere. But first, of all, let's go sort out these lights. Let's do that little drive to get my lights. So let's drive, and let's go find these lights. Let's get a controller there off the off the side. Get the pick up the controller, and we'll do that. I don't know if I've got my microphone pointing quite the right direction here. Let's just just move that around a bit. It doesn't. Yeah. Uh, mm, uh, hello, hello. There we go. Got the, the microphone right. So we've got a trailer already. We've got a low bed. I'm hoping that we can find something good with that. We've actually taken a helicopter for a drive. That was one of the things I was really keen to actually do. Um, oh, we need rest. Let's have a rest quickly. There we go. Rest. We are resting. I'm a little bit worried. The batteries are running out on my uh, my 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 um, keyboard now because there's a little green light on it, which has disappeared now. Okay, whatever the green light was, it's gone. So, so anyway, let's okay. get let's get going. Here we go. Here we go. Let's uh, look over our shoulder into that the mirrors there. This is one of the things people suggested to me by people to do the mirrors. So we'll do that. You can look in the mirrors over there. That's cool. Nice. Let's go in here and make these adjustments to the truck. I wonder if I have to dump the trailer to do that. But we'll work that out as we get along. Go along. Never mind. We're all good there. We're out. Take the second exit. We've got Doug here. Doug's our, our uh, GPS man. He's a he's a man. He's a man with a mission. Looking for cars underneath me. They often come up underneath me. I did a proper crash bang wallop last week. I'll put that as the. I definitely will put that as the video for the whole thing to this week. So so we definitely would add a crash bang and a wallop for the for the video this week. That's definitely the one. All right, here we go. And here we go. We're coming up to a place. I'm hoping that we get something good this week. So, so um, I do listen to what you say in the comments. By the way, I'm just, just, so just, just silly for for not doing it. You know, driving outside the truck is definitely a, a killer. You know, so where I where I do that, it's because I'm looking for that best shot for the video. Um, for for the for the for the uh, for the for the actual. Um, Sort of not not outtake, but you know what I mean for the for the for the uh, uh, initial sort of screenshot for the game. We are finished. I'm not very good at doing those screenshots. I kind of I mine are very they're quite lazy. You know they've got the, the logo on there and they've got like a, a like a statement. I'm not very good with this old clickbait thing that people do in, on on the old YouTube. Um, not not good at all. But anyway, oh I should be able to repair the thing as well. I forgot about that. Do you remember I had that crash? Um, or this crash recently. I need to service this thing. Let's do some servicing. Yeah, because the we did a little bit of damage along the way. It's not as bad as I thought it was, actually, but the chassis took a bit of wallop. Look at that. Transmission, the engine, everything took a bit of a, a bit of a whack. So let's repair that for a start off. Let's do that. Let's go back. Um, let's have a look at the truck configuration. I can notice we've got other things we can configure, configure there. Um, but they've got trucks. Right, so I want to go in here and find the accessories. And I want one of these. I want a light bar. That's what I want. So what we think... What we got? We got... What's that one? That's a little one that hangs over the top, look. Kind of droops over the top, over the top of the thing. And we got we got the one called Samurai. We got the Sting. Got the Mirage. We got Paint. It's called Paint. Oh, it's one painted the same colour. That's kind of cool. I quite like that. It's painted the same colour. We've got the Viking. The Viking. What a cool name. Viking. Dragonfly. That's massive. Ranger. Mmm, brilliant. I think I'm going to go with the paint one, actually, just so it merges in. We can just bung the lights on top of it. Let's do that. Okay. Um, now, what we need to do on there is put some lights on it. So, let's put some nice lights on here. Some lumen, some some, some additional sort of uh, lighting array on here. Uh, there's some expensive ones here. This is, a, this is me making minor adjustments to the thing. I want to go with the square ones because these are kind of square down here. See these lights down here? They're kind of square. So I kind of want to go with the square ones. So I'm going to put one of them on there. Another one on there. 
one on there and another one on there. I think that'll blind anybody who's coming at me. What can I do with the Globetrotter thing? Just out of interest. Oh, it's the decal. I can change the decal. Oh, cool. None of these are applicable to my truck, though. I could just have paint. Ooh. Why would you just want the paint? Globetrotter XL. XL. Extra large. It's not really an extra large, though. I'm assuming that's a make and a model. I don't. I, I still don't really like the, the the logo. I know it's kind of iconic, and they kind of they, they it's been there for years. But for some some reason, it just feels very dated. I don't know about you, but I I think it feels a little dated. Um, but we'll go back to the original Globetrotter one. So we'll do that. What can we do with these lights? Oh, you got the executive and the standard. Not going to do that. Let's confirm the order. Let's do that. So we've now got an upgrade to the truck. Let's uh, let's just uh, let's just uh, go outside and have a little look. We're still attached, right? So what was the instructions? Let's read the instructions again. I've got the instructions. So I bought some lights, right? Okay. Press F4 on the menu to bring up the menu. I brought F4 up. Go to adjust lights. Adjust lights. Um, I want front auxiliary lights. Back dashboard lights, yes. So I want, what is it then? I want, press F3, sorry, high beam. Front auxiliary lights. That looks good. Or oh, roof auxiliary lights, sorry, no, roof auxiliary lights. Sorry, roof auxiliary lights. Cool. Close. Close. And then if I press K, it should be like lit up like a Christmas tree. I'll start the engine even. Press K. No. Below that, there's an option for roof auxiliary. Try that. I'm not reading the instructions properly. This is this is this is the problem. Um, press F4. Press three to adjust the lights. Light adjustment. High beam. High beam. You'll see the option high beam. Click on that. Then below that, the option for auxiliary lights. Click on that. Then exit the menu, and you'll be back in the cab. Press K for bright lights. No, 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 for your brights. No pun intended. It's the difference between night and day. Right. Well, we'll find out because 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 Muggins here has pushed the buttons. Can't really see what what's whether it's done anything. It's maybe too bright for it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right. I'm gonna come out for you. Oh, the parking gates gate's gate's been engaged. Ah, there's my lights. Ah. Hang on. So let's go outside the truck again. Let's see if... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out anyway. Right, okay, sorry. I don't need to go outside the truck. I need to find a job. Sorry, guys. Let's stop messing around here with the with the, with the, with the, the bright lights. I'll get to that. We'll get to it. We'll sort it out at some point. Let's go find a job. Right, okay. So let's go find a... Uh, let's find a... I can't even remember what I'm doing. What job? Cargo market. Okay, let's where we are. Uh, let's see if we can find something that takes us to where we want to go to. So we want one more job that takes us to. So we want to be here, which I don't know how far away that is actually from where I am. Let's have a look. See if we can find something here that takes us to there. Where's Turin's the other way? Uh, Florence. That's. Wrong direction, wrong direction, wrong direction, wrong direction, wrong direction, that's Mets. Let's find Florence, Florence, Florence. They're all kind of really close. Look at that. Really, really close. No good at all, realistically. Okay, let's find out if there's a job in, in Rome that will take me to, to where I want to go to. Oh, God, look at that. Boats and helicopters and everything. Really expensive jobs. This could be the one. This could be the one. We might need to go to Rome to do it. There it is. A boat to the marina from there, and we're only where are we from? We're, we're, we're a little, probably a little way away from finding that job. How long have we got? Before I was to get there, that's the one. Look at that nine tons. The Queen V39 yacht, it's got my name all over it. That looks really cool as well. By that, the Volvo hauler, that looks really good. So, let's set the GPS and go for this job. 
We can't be far away. We're an hour. We're 116 kilometers away. This is the one, though. I don't know whether we're going to have a chance to stop it in between, but 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 we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Let's see if we can get out of this blooming place without running into anything. Morning or afternoon? Sorry, late afternoon even. Really late afternoon. Let's look over the mirror. With the truck is bent at a, st a stupidly tight angle. Look at that stupid, stupid boy. Anyway, um, let's uh, pull us out of here. I'll soon go straight. Turn right. Turn right. An hour away. An hour away. Worth it. Turn left. There we go. Coming out. I'm going across. Beautiful. That's me trying to get the shot for the for, for the video. Need to find one. There can only be one. Can only be one. So how have you all been this week? Have you had a good week? You've been uh, busy individuals? Oh, police cars. Lots of police cars. Lots of different coloured police cars. Like a stream of them. He's let me go. That's good. Happy with that. Yeah, like a stream of stream of police cars there. Have you ever been busy individuals? Have you had a have you had a busy week, a long week, uh, a, 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 a good week? I hope you have, because 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 I've had an interesting week. It's been a busy it's been, it's been a busy week. Not an awful lot of what I would call my usual sort of driving involved in it. He says, a little bit a little bit today when when um, I was trying to get I was trying to trying to get away with the, the day off, but I couldn't quite make it. But but it was fine. It was fine. A little bit of, little bit of out into the middle of nowhere to, to, to amazing, amazing places. So, 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 uh, um, yeah, quite, 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 uh, quite, quite scenic as well. Sort of a lock in the middle of nowhere. So back in Scotland. So amazing. Oh. I did. I, oh, I had the brights on. I did have them on. And I created, a, I did an offence by having too high a beam on. Oh well, at least they were working. <laughs> Thanks, Hartman. Definitely working. My, 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 my offences um, were, were, were wild and, and amazing. Oh, he's going. He's going to let me across. Oh great! I love the sun. Look at it dappling through the trees. It's amazing, isn't it? Lovely. Look at that. Just breaking through the trees. You can, you can feel, you can feel that Mediterranean warmth, can't you? From the whole thing, it's just that warmth, that dryness, but that sort of, that sort of, it's 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 hot, but it's you can kind of live with it. You know, you want to you want to, and obviously we're driving a truck, so you can't have a glass of wine in your hand. But you can imagine sort of a, a glass of wine in your hand, and, or maybe a, a, a you know a nice a nice sort of uh, red or a or a, or even a white, you know, so so sort of wine in your hand. I think something something probably fruity would be lovely. Something lovely like that would be fantastic. Could do with could do with a glass right now actually to be honest with you, but I can't we're driving professionals here you know professionals sometimes <laughs> quick truck cool <laughs> at, the roundabout. at the roundabout yeah we're heading to Rome so we've not been back to Rome for a while so we're heading to Rome we're exiting now through into the toll gate it's the light blasts through let's go through this one here let's feed it through I smell grass actually in the house. Oh wow! Look at the, the lighting on the, the the steering wheel. That's amazing. It's brilliant. I smell grass. I think a dog's just brought it in. Been out in the garden playing in the playing in the grass. Oh sugar! I've just added three hundred and something odd kilometres to this journey. There must be a, another way of coming across this road. Please tell me there's a way to turn across this road. I've just taken the wrong blooming junction. Oh god. I've just made a massive boo boo there. This is reminds me of the day that I missed the the junction for 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 Calais. There was a junction for Calais one day, and I'd made this. Uh, I made this sort of turn off that was ridiculous, and and that was it was un utterly. Um, senseless sort of manoeuvre that I took and I don't know why I did it, it was just uh, I'm really loving the, the lights by the way on this 
um, and I took this manoeuvre and I, I should have should have known better um, and I couldn't really get back the way I want to go and this one looks like I am going to have to take a huge detour just to get back and I've got no real way to kind of get get over this I was trying to look for a way to, to like do a u-turn on the road but there's no way to do a u-turn here this has got a this is a solid fence this is a solid sort of whatever else it is this is this is no there's no u-turns here there is nothing oh don't do that get back in the truck don't know what's going on with me behave I can't believe there's no way to turn around here there's a four-hour detour. This road has no turning off it. I can't believe that for one second. That's ridiculous. So the brights were on, by the way. It's the when I press the K button, it's in the there. See, it comes on. That's what we need. But if you do it during the day, it's a bright offence. But at least it does it. So I press the letter K and I get my brights, which is cool. So when it gets darker here, we'll actually be able to put those on and see where we're going. Instead of just using my uh, side lights, effectively, what I'm doing, you know. No dipping the lights here. Blind everybody. 84 degrees is the temperature in the engine at the moment. I don't know what the temperature is outside, but 84 degrees is the temperature of the engine. I am really annoyed with myself. I'm kind of taking over the whole road as well as a result. I'm being annoyed with myself. That was a cool view. That was very cool. I can't believe this. Honestly, by the time I get there, the job's going to be gone. Because I think it was like four hours for the job, and now I'm done this this thing. I think I might just drive there and sleep, and then I'm definitely taking a job, whatever I can get it from Rome to to the whatever else is. So, I think that's I think that's now the plan. But but we'll definitely do it within this episode. So I apologise for anybody who's watching this going, "Wow, this is going to be a long one." It is going to be a long one, I'm afraid. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a whopper. So. Uh, Oh, I could do with a burger, actually, now. I just said Whopper. Yeah, definitely could do with a burger. That'd be lovely. Mmm. I won't do any more singing about flakes, though, because that, apparently that disturbed people when they were thinking about me, you know, lounging on a seat, um, eating a flake. I think that, that was that was very disturbing for you, uh, for people who are watching the channel, so, so no... no uh, no, uh, no lounging on a on a on a on a chaisey lounge, and having a and having and eating a flake with my shirt unbuttoned. It's not going to happen this week, and I'm not even going to sing the song. I'm not even going to sing the song. I've just realised though that I've actually done. I've made a schoolboy error here. I literally haven't got myself a cup of coffee. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, where's my cup of coffee? And I've just realised that I've I've. I've already had my cup of coffee today. It's it's, oh, it's it's been a day. It's been a busy day. I was trying not to, to try not to, to to do certain amounts of uh, certain amounts of work, and I've ended up doing a bit of work. So um, ended up sort of um, you know not uh, not not getting the day I would have normally done, not getting the uh, time to record as much as I would have liked to have done. So 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 or as fast as I would have liked to have done. Two hundred and uh, right. Well, yeah. Let's do the rundown of the old GPS because we haven't done that. So the GPS is down in the bottom right hand corner. It tells us what speed we're going. And it says we're doing eighty one kilometers an hour. We've got an automatic 12, well, automatic gear 12. The amount of damage to the truck, which should be minimal, which is zero at the moment because we haven't done anything. Then we've got the fuel, which is the next gauge along with the little yellow line that goes up beside it. Then we've got the bed, which is uh, thankfully um, empty at the moment, but normally goes blue, then goes red. And then I cry because we crash because it's fatigue. Um, I like to think it's also the... the, the uh, oh, God, I'm going to come off here. Oh, you get... You hit me. You hit me. You hit me there. Or it didn't actually hit me, but he, but he certainly looked like he was going to hit me. Anyway, um, sorry. Um, so they got fatigue, which is that little bed, and it's slowly. It's it. I like to think it's also um, your, your driving hours, if that makes sense. That's the the way to describe it. Followed by the envelope, which is oh, sadly underused. It's very much uh, um, used only when DLC arrives um, and downloadable content, and you get some extra stuff from that. So uh, yeah, that's the only time you really get anything from that, which is a bit of a shame. Mirrors, mirrors, check mirrors. Can I not just do a loop here? 
if I go through here, can I not just loop back around these bollards instead of driving right into town? Yeah, pretty much can. We'll literally go off and then go back on again around this loop here, so that's fair enough. And anyway, so so sadly underused, um, followed by the time, which is uh, 21.55 at night, so that's where at night. Uh, followed by um, the little red flag, which is um, telling us what time we're going to get there. It's just 1.17 a.m. Um, or 1.17, 1.19 a.m. Um, we've got 224 kilometers to go. It's not worth trying to get this load. And we've got 3 hours and 18 minutes and game time remaining, drive-wise. So, so, yeah, we've got, we've, got a, we've got a bit to do. I'm going to hit that if I'm going to go too slow, fast at that, too fast, too slow. I almost thought about looping around just there. I'm not sure that's legal, but but I, but I was really did think about doing that. So straight on, I think is the answer here. Roma, yeah, that's the one. Straight on. Can I press K now for my brights? Yes, there we go. Bright lights. Can I actually see what's going on. Amazing. I'm gonna go outside the truck in a minute and have a little look at these bright lights on. I can't really see them during the day, which is really annoying. That's much better, isn't it? I'm sure we've gone through these lights before, but I keep forgetting. Because I like to do daytime drives, because the daytime drives are so nice. You can see what's going on out there. So pretty. Um, can I get a ticket? If I can't calm down. Saw a, a Volvo snub nose the other day. You know the one I was talking about those, and they, 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 they're not very, they're not, they're, they're not a, a, a European standard, if that makes sense. You don't see them very often. So, um, but, but yeah, I saw one of them the other day. I was like, oh, that's cool. Come on. Oh, thanks. Just ran out of road and decided to, to, to ditch his vehicle there. Look at that. It's bright lights. Got him on full beam. Just upset everybody. Nasty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I might actually do a little stop on this. Once I've got there, I'm going to maybe put it for, uh, for sleeping. I might do a little pause in the video and actually go get myself a cup of, cup of, cup of coffee. I always like the way people... Have you ever watched videos on YouTube? And there's a lot of people use that uh, that uh, thing from uh, Spongebob, don't they? You know, many hours later. That's the thing that pops up, doesn't it? That's the thing, so... I've just done it myself there without actually being... Without actually doing the little cut insert that everybody seems to do. You know, many hours later... Kind of a clever tool, that though, isn't it? It's a clever tool to kind of speed up time with a with a with a sort of a humorous uh, sort of attached thing to it, doesn't it? You know, shiny, shiny truck. It's a shame there weren't more globe trotter uh, things to the top of it. Not sure about that globe trotter thing. I have to admit, I like the because I think this is called the classic, isn't it? I think this is what's called the classic. So I, I don't know. Move over. Did a little uh, tweet the other day um, about a an old Spectrum game called uh, Rallycross from the 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 game game creators uh, Codemasters. Oh, I cut him up bad. Um, Codemasters. And Codemasters, of course, got recently purchased for for a, for a, for a, a measly one billion from uh, from from EA, um, and now it's now their EA Rally. So the EA Rally, I'm not a big fan of EA, but anyway, I did tweet about this and, and uh, Codemasters one. Somebody tagged them into it, so EA Rally, and then they sent back pictures saying, "Yeah, we've come a long way since there with the with showing the pictures of the of the game." And I was thinking to myself, "You might have come a long way, but 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 well." Nobody wants to play your games because you you do your you predatory behaviour, you know. So so so. Well, I don't. I I I, I kind of miss that though. That you know, I like games, but I feel very. I feel I do feel kind of a, annoyed by the the behaviour of the, the sort of games companies and things like that. It's, it's companies like this one that that the 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 the, 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 the kind of a shining beacon of um, way of ways of doing things in the sense of. Uh, um, the way that they do their downloadable content, how they fund themselves with, um, you know, uh, yearly updates to both their their truck American Truck Simulator and their 
uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 systems, you know, those, those, and and then still doing other stuff in between because they make so much money from it all. It's amazing, really. It's, it's fantastic. A fantastic way to, to kind of do it. Never, never be, I think that the answer to things in the world is never be too greedy. And that's, that, that, that's, that, because what you just become is people um, start wondering about you as a, as a company, don't they, when they start becoming slightly greedy, so. Okay. Here we go. I'm buzzing through this countryside here. I'm actually quite looking forward to stopping now once we get to Rome. I know it's got the the the, the, the thing there, but but uh, once we stop and get to Rome, can you hear my dog barking in the background here? It's been doing that the whole time. It's so annoying. Um um, but basically it's it's um I don't know what's barking at either. If I'm honest, so so, um, but yeah. Once once you get to your destination, so so so, I'm, we'll be able to have a little rest. I can't remember what I was just saying there. I'll have a little rest. I'm going to pause the the video briefly, and as I say, many hours later, um, uh, many minutes later, um, we'll we'll SpongeBob SquarePants ourselves straight back into it. I'm not even going to insert it, by the way. It's not going to happen. It's just going to be like a fade in and fade out. So we'll fade in and fade out. That's the thing. So 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 so. Um, We'll, we'll do that so I can grab myself a coffee because cause, cause I've forgotten all about it, which is ridiculous because I'm a silly man. Very silly man. I'm a silly boy. A very naughty boy. Anyway, at least when we sleep, we'll be up in the morning, so that'll be cool. That's a good start. It's a good start. So it's 11.53 now. And we're going to get in at 1.22 um, at the moment. cars underneath me. Come on. Or van, should I say. I'm going to come across. Second. There we go. Came across. Checking the mirrors. Don't want to be naughty too far out, if that makes sense. We're almost there. We're not far away now. 75 kilometres. We're trundling, we're trundling down the road gently. Uh, speed limit change, still 90 kilometres. Just working, working it through the night. I always quite like driving the night. I, I know I've discussed this before. Uh, uh, where can I go? I think I can go through here. Oh, that one's in use. Oh, God. I made a right hash of it. Those are where I meant it to be. The where the yellow ones were. I'll just have to pay. I'll have to just pay some euros. Came to too much of a halt there. Let's pay some euros. Let's push the button to pay for the road. I don't know why I did that. Could have used the auto pass that's built into this thing. Anyway. car coming upon me. You see him sliding in behind. Oh, one right underneath me there. Let's uh, pull over. Keep left. Keep left. I am keeping left. Can't even go that way anyway. Look at that. Properly blocked off. If I went through there, it would, I would crash mightily. Okay, it's, uh, we're about 50 minutes out. Not far away at all. Um, one... 23 a.m. was the time we're going to get in. And this is obviously to the location to pick up this uh, from the marina, but we're not going to do that. We're going to we're going to go we're going to go into we're going to go into um, a room and we're going to find somewhere to park. We're going to get some sleep and then we're going to we're going to go from there. So 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 I may find a place to draw up shortly just to look at the map. Oh, it's proper rumbly. This road. I can feel the I can feel the trailer moving around a bit. I'm out. You guys might not be, but I am. There's a car underneath me. I can see him in the mirrors. Oh god. There we go, coming over. So dangerous. 
so dangerous. I he got hit by one. Somebody coming out one of those junctions one time. It was absolutely awful. It's one of those things that that kind of it was amazing that it happened, but it did. It just it just I just got smashed into it. It was just absolutely awful. Okay. Terrible thing. Right. Okay. Let's pull on over. Let's go on through here. Exit right. Exit right. So 21, 20, no, 20 minutes to go now. Right. And again. 16 kilometers, getting in at 1 20, 20, 22 a.m. Perfect timing, though. Get ourselves somewhere to sleep, and then we'll go from there. And we'll just put, pop our. Pop our. Heads through there. It's recruitment agency. It's Rome's proper. proper There's a proper big city in this whole thing. really big city. I can see lots of places to park coming up here. So what I'll do is I think I'm going to park. Might cancel this journey after I get off here at this junction and we'll go we'll get ourselves in safely ensconced in somewhere and I'll go grab a cup of coffee and then I'll come back to you. So hang on. I need my coffee. I'm I'm fueled by coffee. That and crashing into things. Fueled by my 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 love of uh, smashing into things in the truck not true it's a good game isn't it it really is on we go didn't indicate there but but we'll do it'll do go straight on I am gonna go straight on there's only one option to go straight on looks like and a weird little sort of side road back again so Here's our uh, here's our place to park, coming up here on the uh, on the left hand side. Thank you for behaving yourself. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Can I can I pull into this? Yes, there's my my turning there. I can pull in and I can get myself a a, a sort of a bed for the night, round the side probably. It's usually the way. Pull a bit further forward. Let's check the mirror. See where I am on the. Oh, he's going to let us through. Are you not? Oh, I thought you were going to let me out there. I thought you were going to be friendly. Not that friendly. Not letting a strange truck driver here. What? What kind of resource? What kind of um, things have we got here? We got somewhere for a cup of coffee, possibly. Yeah, got somewhere for a coffee. I think over there. Look, the end store. We've got a, a casa, got a little parking booth, we've got a, I can't believe it, we've got a, we've got a phone booth as well. I'm not sure what that's for, but anyway, let's press K to get rid of these lights. I want to just turn them off. Boom. What a difference they make. Look at that. Full beam. Full beam. We call, that's uh, the full beam is the, 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 I think it's the, uh, it's the, the, the British name for the same thing. So, so, so that's, that's what it is. Um, let's push this button to do this. And then what we'll do is I'm going to pause it right there. I'm going to come back to you in a second once I've got a cup of coffee. So hang on a second. I'll be seeing, see you in a second. Okay, I'm back with some coffee. Did you miss me? I was gone like all of like, a. Uh, uh, I don't know, five seconds worth of fade in and out. <laughs> Many hours later. Um, anyway, so so we've done our rest. We're waiting there. Let's bring up the menu here and uh, let's see if we can find um, uh, something to do because I'm sure that cargo one has gone now. I'm pretty convinced it will be. So let's have a look at Roma. Let's see if we can find a job that will take me to where I want to go to. There's some lovely long jobs in there, isn't there? Some good ones. And Bari's a bit further down. So let's go with this one. This is where there won't be a single job to where I need to go to. Luxembourg, Istanbul, Le Mans. Le Mans is somewhere I want to go to again for the tractor. That uh, not tractor for the for the uh, Bari. Bari's. It's so close. It's kind of close. It is close. What is it? Four hundred kilometers. Yes, I want to go a bit further than Bari. And so, that, is there anything in here? That's the other way. That's the wrong way. It's the wrong way. It's the wrong way. It's the wrong way. It's going to be Bari, isn't it? 
where I've got that place in the first place. At least it gets me close, and I can I can take a a romp down the road, I suppose, and just finish this off. Get this get this done, sort it all out. Um, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got value wise. Oh, there's a good one. I do like I do like a bit of yacht action. There's a nice yacht there, so it's a it's a it's a fragile cargo. It's a high value cargo, and it's an important delivery. So it's not just in time kind of thing or urgent type like that. I'm surprised there isn't actually just in time jobs on this um, game. I suppose this this urgent or important delivery is the thing. I mean, just in time obviously, of course, is the is the is the, is the term for for what they do in the car industry, where they they basically build parts to Ready to, to spec um, for to to appear and be delivered very much at you know the exact time that they need to be there. So um, I'm gonna go, even though I've oh, I should really have gone through here. Let's drive through here. Um, Drive through there like that. Look at that. There we go. Truck driving through. Truck coming through. Right. Okay. So, um, yeah. So just in times, what they do with um, with a lot of uh, industries where they just need to, to to do the thing, the delivery, like there and then. Oh, what's he waiting for? See that car? Just, just, just kind of came to a halt, stalled. Right. Almost there. Yeah, so things just arrive just as they need to be. I wonder how accurate that is. Do you think it's like to the hour or something similar? I don't know. I mean, I'm done. Well, I'm speculating here because obviously they don't want to hold stock for length of time. They just want to build, you know, so for instance, they're building you a car. They want to build that car there and then. And then, obviously, the cars are the things that they kind of put in car parks and store. I don't think there's any of them at the moment. But if there were, that that's what they would do. Um, I don't know whether or not they, they do the same sort of thing. I'm kind of pleased where, where I've gone here, because this is this is a job that's going to be... Right around the corner. I like the tree. I like the tree in the middle of that. That's kind of cool. Exit now. Just watching that dry... That... Bleh. Watching that person there for the for with his with his with his uh, with his little little um, pickup truck. I just I just just I, I didn't I didn't trust him there. wasn't wasn't my friend. I was thinking he's gonna he's gonna come screaming around that corner and cause me some grief, but he didn't. He was okay, it was okay in the end. So. Right. Get ready to turn right. Okay. Oh here. Oh wow. This what filthy bit of Ugh. Look at that. that that's not where I'm going in, it's the next place along. That's just a filthy bit of dirt land. Uh, anyway. Let's go in here. So we've got to go nice in. Ride. We got we got to Was that a nice ride? Thanks, Doug. For your uh, I'm up and let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at the cargo. Let's see if we can get this one. We'll get this to Bari and then we'll, we'll go from there. Let's have a little look. There we go. Nothing else appeared. Perfect. That'll do me nicely. Take that job. Right. Where am I going? Let's have a look. Right there. I'm going to get the trailer in. I'm going to pull across and get the trailer in first off. I think that's the, the main thing. So let's get, the, let's get the trailer in without smashing it into anything. There we go, we're in without smashing it into anything, thankfully. Right, let's try and use the space in here. That's why I'm always told to do, use the space. Use the space. Use the force, Luke. Use the force. Um. The beauty of this trailer is, of course, as I can see over my shoulder at it. Um beauty of this trailer is I'm going to smash it into the side of there. Let's just pull this forward a little bit. I can see over my shoulder very easily because I can see over the top of it. It's quite a nice thing, that. So a bit of reversing going on now. Let's get this thing in here. Let's get that straight. I can just see enough of it to get it straight. Truck, trun truck trundling backwards. Not straight enough yet, but we're, we're, we're getting there. I'm going to come out and he can go forward a bit, just to adjust myself a little bit. 
I don't know how much I, I, I can guarantee you I'm a lot better at this than I used to be but but I still I still sometimes feel like a bit of a beginner with these things I always feel a bit of a beginner with this game but but um I always feel a bit of a beginner with this sort of reversing thing I I, I, I think I've got it now I think I've got the general gist of it the the the, the rules of uh, of of reversing but but I sometimes feel I'm not the I'm not the best at it it's it's still taking loads of practice There we go. Perfect. Well, perfect enough. It's it's a little bit over, but but it'll do. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Engine off. Okay, load the cargo. So we get a little bit of loading. I wish we could see that. I kind of feel like we should have some 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 things buzzing around on the whole thing. That is looks the business, doesn't it? That looks the business. So we've got 400 and a fifth, uh, 449 kilometres and a 450 kilometres to go. Six hours and uh, 40 minutes. And we've got a long drive ahead of us. So let's uh, let's get up, up, get out of this road. And let's uh, let's. Uh, I can't see a thing, so I'm gonna. Yeah, you stay there. You gonna stay there? Oh, look at me edging it. Oh, God, please don't hit him. That is so close. That is so close. That was so close. Sloop at 36, it says on that thing. That was so close, by the way. That was very cool, though. Very cool manoeuvring there by me. Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> ah, Italy. Marvellous. Marvellous. Here we go. Right. There's a car on display. It must be a car. It must be a car garage. Either that or somebody's just parked it on it for fun. It would be funny if they parked on it for fun. Got my bottles of water. We're all good. My laptop. Lovely. Ready for this journey. Bit of a longer episode for you this week because of the fact that I've... Uh, for, yep. Cool, you're going to let me go. Lovely. So we've got K for brights and F for hazards, because I got taught that one the other week, didn't I? Hazard lights. The old hazards on. I like that tree. I said that before, but I do like that tree. I think it's kind of cool. Okay. Exit now. I'm going to exit now, Doug. I'm exiting now. I think I want Helga back. I missed. I miss Helga. So authoritarian. I'd rather, rather like that. I need a Helga in my comments, don't I, really? <laughs> here we go. And we'll go hit the main road here. This is, as I say, this should be a simple, simple journey. But I remember setting up the uh, garage in Bari. It was a while ago, though. I mean, it was... It's. I, 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 I don't... I didn't spend enough time in it, Lee. I kind of... Gotta remember, I kind of I drifted around before I started the sort of real process of kind of um, aiming to, to to clear areas. I mean, and that's that's easier said than done when they rewrite sort of the entire uh, of Aust Austrian sort of um, element of the game. Right. So one of the things that we've got changed on this game, and I'm going to mention this while I drink a cup of coffee. Mm. Oh, that's good. Um, is the fact that that I have increased uh, the traffic density. It is an, it's, uh, there is a um, instructions in the comments below, and this is a suggestion from uh, from the team, the, the uh, my, my my Facebook uh, co-pilots. Um, that uh, was uh, was was a suggestion by these guys. Um, one of the things you could do is you because I wanted to more traffic because the game I think it just sets it by default at like a, a number one or number or zero or whatever it is in the in the configuration file. Um, this was a way to do it without modifying the game because I play the game vanilla. This is what you get if you buy this and various bits of DLC. This is what you get. This is the vanilla game. It's not. There's no modifications here bar one to an actual configuration file that's part of the game which is in the instru instructions below and it basically allows the density to go up so that it becomes what's possibly called um, and in this case I think it's actually happened we've got what's known as deadlock so the game doesn't know how to pull out in front of the road ahead of it at all so it's it's literally we're jammed now at this point we're stuck we're stuck here until the computer can work out if it can pull out or not so it's thinking about it but it can't work it out so you get this sort of deadlock occurring a um, lot of roundabouts it occurs at um, it occurs at a few other things I'm gonna try I'm gonna try very hard 
if I can sneak past this without damaging the load. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the motorway here. I hit something. What did I hit? Oh god, it was so wide. I've, I've literally. I tell you what. If that was my that my cargo there, damaged beyond belief. Too late now. Point of no return. We've, we've got to hit the motorway now. And of course, I've helped them all get free. Brilliant. So 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 because I didn't realise how wide the top of the the, the uh, yacht was. Well, at least I managed to get a few people free. Hopefully, it won't take too much off the cost of the vehicle when I've done that damage because it didn't collide at speed. Technically, though, it ripped a great big hole down the centre of this uh, this. Uh, um, this uh, this this yacht, to be honest with you. So yeah, you end up with this and sometimes get a little bit deadlocked, but but it also adds to the game because of course there is more vehicles on the road, more chances of doing some stupid like I've just done there, and it, it kind of really adds to it. It's a great thing that one, and then and then the other things we've got is we've got advanced coupling or advanced advanced trailer coupling, which is a fantastic feature. I highly recommend that one. That was a Mark Middleton suggestion, and it was it was so that you basically it adds a little bit of uh, making sure you've got that fifth wheel hitting the pins, so the coupling itself have to hit together perfectly instead of just floating somewhere near the uh, the actual uh, the actual uh, you know back of the trailer just being close to it was enough to have it sort of pop on during the original sort of uh original sort of configuration of the whole thing so yeah th th there are some things that are there there are some some things like looking in your mirrors that's really cool if you put make sure you you know so you can look left and right on your mirrors to see what's going on um and turn your head in the game that kind of adds to it as well there's lots of things like that and of course there's traffic density and uh, not just traffic density um the the number of events that happen within the game that's uh, can be reduced slightly and um, i've reduced my slightly to to 40 so so you'll see less of the uh, sort of the diversions and other things it's actually 50% by default, which is quite a high number, if you ask me. It is quite a high number. 40 seems to be right for me and and, and, and playing the game and sort of enjoying the thing in general. Um, I think anything less than 40 is probably... A, I don't know, maybe a little less fun sometimes, because we. Um, but it is it is definitely annoying when you hit something that you shouldn't be hitting, that's, that's for sure. Right, here we go, round this way. Going a wee bit fast. Yes, I know. I can feel it pulling the trailer, by the way. The trailer's getting wrenched right round as I go round this at, uh, at extraordinarily fast speeds. See the sun visor reflecting the uh, the road itself in it. Amazing. Fantastic games. Fantastic games. Six hours to go. 407 kilometres. Quite a decent run, actually, this one. Quite a decent run. Very nice to see. It's nice to be th almost finished the Italian countryside. That's 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 nice. I mean, obviously you're gonna have to go back and revisit. I think that's why some of the reasons why they remodel the levels. I mean, I mean, yes, they 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 can It's really it's a bizarre. Um, it's a bizarre situation with the game. This this should let me through automatically. Telepass. I had to slow down a lot there. Um, it's a bizarre thing, isn't it, with this game? Um, one of the things to, to maintain it, they've kind of been rejigging and redoing the graphics in different areas all the time. I think that's really nice, because they, they weren't satisfied with the way it was. They built it better, and they keep building it better. They do chunks at a time. It's really clever how they, they've kind of decided to, to maintain it. You know, that's how you keep up with modern graphics cards and other things, is you build it up as you go. You make it slightly better all the time, and I think that's really... That's a really nice thing that they do within the game. So they, they keep themselves busy, you know, remodeling areas. And they keep themselves busy um, with the latest DLC, the latest sort of map edition. It's map editions that's the main thing for them. Um, and they keep themselves busy with uh, with a few other bits of DLC, like occasional, um, you know, art sort of for your truck and, and other things. It's kind of cool, honestly. I don't want, want a particularly cool company. And of course they've got the World of Trucks as well, which is like their online community. And something I've not played, to be honest. Something I've not played. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit terrified for that, for that, for that community thing. Not that mine communities, by the way. I've been in them before, but uh, but I'm, I'm a little bit, a little bit uh, concerned that it's going to be a bit, uh, bit, uh, bit hectic in there. Mm. Oh, more coffee. Love the coffee. I don't know why I didn't get one to begin with. Actually, to be honest, I was like, I was like, I, was, I, I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know why. I forgot. 
want to pull over here. Hopefully there's nothing underneath me. There is nothing underneath me. We're clear! Clear to be over... to, to overtake. Yes, try and stay on the road. <gasps> oh, shit! That could have been bad. That could have been very bad. Imagine if I hadn't flipped back to the inside then. Go! Can't take me anywhere. I'm, I'm danger. To, I'm a danger to all pedestrians and and road users. It's a good job we can't run over pedestrians in this because can you imagine my pedestrian count by now? I still want a traffic offences count. That would. I mean, I bet that isn't even a mod. You know, traffic offences. I'd love. A, I'd like a rundown of my profile. You know, of, of the amount, the number of speeding tickets that I've had, the the times I've crashed into things, and all that kind of stuff. I, I kind of. I think that would be kind of cool. I kind of like. I love a bit of stats, don't you? You know, it wouldn't be nice to have like a stat thing for for for. You. For you, for yourself in that kind of way, you know, sort of where, where the, how many times you'd 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 you'd, you'd been involved in a in a, in a road a traffic accident or the fastest speed you'd travelled on a particular truck or the miles that you've done on each one of them, that would kind of be cool. I really would like those stats somewhere. I would love the game to measure those things. I actually think we'd I think we'd have a lot of fun measuring those stats. Anyway, cross country we go down towards the bottom. Tirano is on on the list. I'm so I'm assuming I'm pronouncing it. It's Tarano, Tarano. I'm not sure what how you pronounce it in, in Italian. Probably because I'm not Italian. That's the main reason. Apparently, on my mother's side of the family, though, we have some um, uh, Sicilian, apparently. So there's some Sicilian. A long way back, by the way. You have to go a long, long way back to find the Sicilian. But, uh, yeah, apparently have some Sicilian. Here we go. Casino. Just gently, gently working my way across the roads now. I really do need to change the sensitivity levels. That's one of the big problems you see, because the sensitivity is probably a bit too high on the on the joystick for for sort of. Uh, I've got you know I use an Xbox One pad for this, but uh, it, it's a little bit high. So sometimes, as I say, when I'm outside of the truck doing my doing my uh, Superman thing, that that thing, I kind of a little little bit too too. You can see how it's like a little bit too much movement on it. So. Let's go along here. You know, I was doing my Superman thing there, flying around it. Probably gonna have the picture of the almost or the impact, to be honest, as the as the video thing. Now that I've done it, it's never a good video without an impact. It's true, actually. No, no, it's not true. It's not true at all. I've had a few videos where I've not actually hit anything. It's quite. It's almost. It's almost normal when I've not hit anything. I take far more risks in this game than I do in real life. Barely had a speeding ticket. Got a parking ticket the other day, though. Was not happy. Was not happy at all. Okay, up the mountainside. Here we go. Down and round. And we're coming off down here. We've got 3 hours and 51 minutes to go. So it's, do you know what? It's going to be a decent run this for you. Probably an hour and a half at least this one, rather than the usual sort of hour long video. So 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 you've got an hour and a half and then we've got and then I'm hoping for a super run because we're gonna go from the bottom of here right up into I think I think everybody's suggesting Austria's worth the uh, worth the look. Uh oh. Car on fire. Do you know I still I still I I still think it's quite shocking that when you first see that kind of thing in the game and there's there is actually some kind of oh there's something else here. No, no, just everybody sort of slowing down, rubbernecking a little bit, I think. Um, uh, you know, 
that the, the, there is a little bit of uh, you know the, 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 it's I still find it quite disturbing how sometimes you know accurate we've got you know in the sense of um, you know damage to the vehicles on the sides of the road and all this kind of stuff. It is, it's quite it's quite it's quite a, a disturbing factor to the game. It's quite a disturbing factor. I mean, it's true. Obviously, to life there are you know uh, road traffic de accidents every day, sadly, and people lose their lives on the road. But it's quite, quite disturbing that. Anyway, let's carry on down the road. I'm going to have another sup of coffee while I try and steer straight for a change. Never going to happen, is it? Let's try it anyway. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good coffee. Mm. Yeah, steer, try to steer straight. That's a good idea. Steer straight is the one. Oh, is he waiting to come on? Yep, they're just pulling onto the road motorway. Not a care in the world. Carry on. Oh, look at that. Look at those excavators or something similar. Diggers on there. That's amazing. Do I have to exit right? Got to exit off this one. I didn't realise that. Go straight on. Then go straight on. Under this bridge. I'm hoping it's tall enough. Oh, it's well tall enough. I thought for a minute there it wasn't. I've got all my views, by the way, on the same button. So what happens is you get that you get that moment where I did that there, and kind of did that going over the top. That is a cool view. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, back in the back in the truck. That is a cool view. Two hours and fifty-eight minutes to go. We'll just make our way across. Oh, hang on. Computer cars have, have made a muck up. <sighs> Computer cars have crashed. There's a crash ahead. I'm going to squeeze through this gap if I can. There you go, computer cars have crashed. And they're edging forward on each other, look at that. Impact. It's one of the other drawbacks of the whole thing, that, that Vico truck there not, uh, not knowing what to do. Let's get us out here. Through the mountainside to the other side. Oh, crash! Another two impacted cars. One hit the other one. It's been a bit of a dangerous old run, this one. Two hours and 48 minutes left to go on it. It's getting all scary. Brown pants time. It's that joke, joke, isn't it? It's the original joke. It's an old, old, old joke, wasn't it? About the, the, the pirate captain, isn't it? And uh, he, every time he's, he put the bravery of his men, it's like, you know, we're facing uh, an English uh, frigate. And he'd be like, bring bring me my bring me my uh, posh pants or whatever it is. And his brush posh pants. And uh, he goes and fights them. And his men all cheer. And then, uh, I guess, finally, this is his boss. It's, it's, it comes and they, they see an armada of English um, vessels, and he says, "Bring me my brown pants." <laughs> That's but, but I don't tell it particularly well. But the punchline of the joke's kind of completely wasted on me. A joke I really know that's uh, a one-liner, and it's not a very good joke. It's more dad joke than anything else. We good dad, dad jokes. It's uh, two fish in a tank. One fish says to the other tank. Uh, the uh, one fish says to the other fish. Do you know how to drive this thing? Huh? Come on, hit me with your your best your best one-liners in the comments below. I want those dad jokes. Have you got a dad joke, or if you haven't got, even if you aren't dad, I want one of those jokes. That's we could we could do this. I'll read them out next week. It'll be quite funny. We'll do a whole section on it. <laughs> Two fish in a tank. One fish turns to the other fish and says, "I hope you know how to drive this thing." Good in it. See, it's a situation where you think one thing and then you think another thing. 
See? Two different things. There's something in the sky there. It's like a bird, I think. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. I've locked the, 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 the speedo in. And I'm drifting again across the road. I really have trouble at the moment with steering. If I'm not in the cab, I'm steering wrong. Keeping an eye on the mirror all the time. Making sure I can see what's down that side. There's literally a massive mirror down the side there. I have to admit, I did like the digital mirrors because they were just in the corners, so you didn't actually have to look all the way around. You could see them there. I think somebody made a comment, though, and I think it was rightfully so. The one thing about a mirror is that depending on the angle you're looking in it, it depends on what you see out of it. That doesn't apply to a digital mirror when you're looking at it, apparently, because it's just a flat image of what's behind you. So you can't do that kind of moving your head a little bit to try and angle the view. So you, I would hope that the digital mirror gave you a very good, clear view in the first place so that you wouldn't need to do the angling of your head. But yeah, that's a good point, actually. You can use some... Yeah, how often do I bend my head to look in the mirror differently? It's a good, good, good point. As much as they're kind of cool, it is actually a very, 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 very well-made point. I can't remember who made that point, by the way. There was, a, there was somebody who was uh, watching the channel. I'm not sure that they're still watching the channel, but uh, they watched the channel. One people people uh, mentioned the, the steering, which they're, they're, they're quite right about. I've got it far too set, far too high, the steering. Uh, mentioned the steering, um, and they haven't been back. They've been, they came and commented about three videos. As far as I'm aware, they haven't come back. They're missing out all the good stuff. I'm still crashing into stuff and, and, and um, you know, winding all over the road. <laughs> Has he got fruit? Does it say fruit? I think he's got fruit. Look, he's got fruit. I wonder what kind of fruit he's got. Is it olive or fruit? I think it is. I think it probably is, isn't it? It's like a bit like a grape, isn't it? But not 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 different flavour. Just thinking Italian, that is, you know. I do like olives though. Bit of a fan of an olive. Hated them as a kid. Well, I didn't hate them. I wasn't very keen on them as a kid. That's one of those things. I think your taste buds change as you get older, so so you different things taste differently to you. But I always was never a big fan of of all olives. But but to be honest, I do eat any everything. I, I, there are foods that I won't if I can if I don't have to eat it, I won't eat it. You know, when you go to those sort of that 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 the old you know buffet or something similar, there's things you go, yeah, I don't really fancy that. But but in general, general sort of generally. I'm a kind of a I'll eat or everything kind of person, you know. There's nothing that really puts me off um, eating it, and I don't mind uh, eating eating anything realistically. Um, the one thing that, that somebody offered me though something the other day, and it was like I realised that there are things that I'm like, if I don't have to eat it, I won't. I mean, I don't mind eating if it's there, and somebody give it to me, I would be like, yeah, yeah, I'll eat that. Um, but but um, somebody offered me some uh, watermelon the other, not watermelon, so gala melon the other day. I think honeydew melons. There's also another name for them, but gala melon is what I used to call them. But anyway, offered me some of that, and I was like, you know what? I can do without that. I'm not a not a fan of the old. Uh, I'm not a, not a fan of the old gala melon. And they're all right, but but it, on a fruit scale, it's not one of the fruits that I would actively choose to, to sort of to, to sort of eat. If I don't have to eat it, I wouldn't eat it. One of my truck drivers just brought in twenty six thousand euros there. What's this one doing? And has leveled up. That's even better. Well, we're liking these leveling up truck truck drivers. I probably don't have enough drivers on my rosters, you know. They're making me money. I've still got 4.7 million euros in the bank. I'm quite happy with that. Nice field. Just been turned over. As we head in here, 57 minutes, 50, 53 kilo, key, uh, the, 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 the kilometres are keeping up with the, meet, the, the minutes at the moment. 50, 49, 48. Yeah, they're keeping up with each other. That's kind of cool. I like that. Slightly out of sync now. Slightly out of sync, but they were they were keeping up with each other for a minute there. It's actually, it's less kilometres now than minutes left, which is good. Lovely straight run. Perfect for a view of us moving across the countryside there. That's a lovely view. It's a straight line most of the way. Last time I did that, I nearly ended up with the back of another truck. That was that was bad. That was bad. Here's Barry. Round the corner. 30 kilometres. And we're going to probably break in a second, I would say. Keep right. Yeah, here we go. Keep right. 
Well, it's a good job we are keeping right, because that... Jesus Christ! That was so close! Oh my God! Did you see that? That was... That was unreal! It's a good job I am keeping right anyway. What's going on over here? Wow! That was so close. Look at that. What's going on? That's all right, we're keeping on this road anyway, so we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. That was so bad. 43 kilometers to go. Right, okay. Whoa. It was terrifying. I nearly ended up smashing that car to pieces. Just pulled across me. Oh, helicopter's here as well. Look at this. And there's a police car pulled somebody over over there. That would be me. Bursting through and forcing my, forcing my will upon them. Love a bit of helicopter action as well, it's good. Didn't see what was actually happened down there, which is not good, but never mind. 6.23 in the PM. And then exit right. yeah, I'm going to keep right and then exit right. We're making our way slowly around here. Exit right. I'm almost up. It's almost dinner time in my house, I'm almost ready for, 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 for my dinner. What are you all having for your dinner? Are you having a good dinner? We're probably just going to have... Uh, we're probably going to have pizza tonight, to be honest with you. Nothing fresh about it. Just straight out straight out of the packet. <laughs> Aldi's own. To be fair, Aldi does some very nice pizzas, and they're very, very inexpensive, so they're, they're a nice quick meal for, a, for, a, for an evening sometimes. Very nice to have. Okay, we're, we're buzzing down here now. We're almost there, 13 kilometres away. Still a little bit of time that I want to spend driving to our next destination, so we'll do that. Speeding the whole way. Let's not speed so much. Applied the brake a little bit there. Getting quite sleepy now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it, but we'll give, we'll give it a try. A truck coming right at me. Let's go through the automated sort of uh, payment thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Check the mirror. Nobody coming up underneath me. We're all good. As we get into Bari. Bari. Here we are. At the roundabout. The roundabout. We'll take the first exit. Oh, this is good, actually. We're going to someone we've not seen before. We might actually get a new landmark as well, by the looks of things. Oh, there's a question mark there. That is cool. We'll go, we'll go that way. We'll have a look at the question mark while we're at it. Exit now. I do like these marinas because they're quite interesting. I'm hoping it is a marina that we're parking at. It doesn't look like a marina from the from the, from the the map. There we go. Red light. Red light. doesn't look like a marina that we're going to from the map. It looks like we're just going around the corner here. Two kilometres away anyway. Not far now. Almost there. Let's go. Indicator's on. Here we go. I'm coming off at this junction here. It's a red light, so we'll come off this junction. No, not this junction, the next one, but we'll just go there. Vulcan Loco. Oh, I can't believe it. My wife's just come into the house. She's come in because it's almost, it's almost time for tea um, or dinner. Uh, tea, you see, you can tell, I'm, tell I live in the north. Uh, it's almost time for dinner because we, we mix them all up. In the, in the north, like, we call lunch dinner and um, tea is dinner. Yeah, you know, that's what they do. We mix it up. I, you got, I'm giving you the, the, the correct version there by doing the, doing the sort of uh, the, the dinner and whatever else. But she's coming to the house, and the rain has just started coming down. It's been it's been it's been doing that on a couple of nights actually running at the moment. So we've had lovely hot days, and then um, a rainstorm in the evening, which is good because it you know feeds the plants and all the other stuff. Been feeding, uh, been built, been um, growing some. Uh, oh, discovered a new viewpoint. Marvelous. Where's that then? I don't know where that is. Around the corner from where we're going. That's cool. Been growing a few uh, few vegetables in the house and a few and a few technically a few fruits in this case of uh, the tomatoes we've been growing. So so we've been growing a few of those in the house. Um, managed to put the reverse light on there. Must have scared the hell out of people there. 
I was out with my colleague the other day, or today, and uh, and somebody was just drifting across the road um, in their in their vehicle, just across two lanes without without any without a care in the world. Then they realised and woke up and swerved back into their lane. Um, so uh, so we overtook that person because that was more sensible than being behind them or beside them when they finally did wipe out another car because of that behaviour. Right. Go straight on. Straight on. Lovely. Brilliant. We can go straight on here. Oh, we are going to port, definitely. Oh, wow. It's a bit narrow. Turn left. Turn left. We are going to a marina for sure. That's very cool. The viewpoint is over the road, so we'll go there after we've done this. So, our marina is here. Very cool. Where do you want my, my truck? I bet it's actually a very easy spot. It's one of those two, probably, right in front of me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to expect this to over. be quite easy. It's all over. Deliver the job. Where do you want it? Let me guess. Literally where I am. Confirm. Right there. There's loads of space. So let's... Let's... Let's uh, spin this thing around. Use all the space we've got in the world. In this space. I like that. Lovely. Loads of space. Let's just swerve this quite... Quite this... Quite right around. Works for me. They're obviously going to launch it straight away. Let's uh, swing that around that way a bit. Here we go. A bit of precise driving, as it says in the description below in the in the GPS. There we go. Brilliant. That was worth it. There's a ferry in the background. It's kind of cool. Let's do that. Let's unload this thing. There we go. Excellent journey. I'm quite pleased with that one, actually. I'm quite pleased indeed. That came out really well. I quite enjoyed that. That was a good one. Right, okay, continue. Let's see. Oh, I wonder. I wonder, 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 wonder. Right, if I drive here, whether or not we've got another thing that will take me around the corner. I did say I need to sleep, though. But I also want to go to this place. Let's see if we can just find another... Let's see if we can find another job just here that might take us to uh, Toronto or whatever it's called. Just just as we're here. Let's see if we can get one that will take us to Toronto. Do they have anything here? Oh, they blooming do. Look at that. How lucky am I? I could literally do that. That is an hour. It's only 68. God, it's even so close. That's the one. We're going to do that and we'll do the other bits and we'll try and do it within the time that I've got left. And I can see the beds... Absolutely, uh, absolutely, sort of, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, I don't know. It's, we're ready for sleep, basically. Right. Right, let's go for this. We could do, we could do with the sleep, but we'll, we'll, I'm going to go put this in here. Let's do it. Let's do two yachts at a time. I, you know, let's uh, let's 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 uh, be nervous about this whole thing, but let's do it. The rain is absolutely hurling itself down. Oh, there's the two likely lads again over there. I'm seriously going to push the time here. By the way, we really are. That's the plan to push the time. This might be enough. That'll do. Engine off. Let's have a look. Looks good. Right. Hit the button. Load it. A little bit of time loading it. Hour away. Not far at all. Evening evening journey. Let's do this. Let's do this. Thanks, Doug. Thanks for your uh, vote of confidence, Doug. Dougie Doug. Dougie Doug. Give him a vote of confidence. Hey, see, look at this. I'm pushing it today. We're going with the uh, we're going with the uh, the, the 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 demon uh, transport uh, special today. Peoples, we are going for it. Oh, look at that. I know it's turned right there, but I can see a, that viewpoint. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Okay, let's find a new route. 
Let's find a new route. No, don't worry, Doug. We're here. Stop. Let's do the button. Let's have a look. Port of Bari. Might as well while we're here. Ooh. Drinking that coffee. It's good. It's good. What a lovely view. It's worth doing. It's always worth doing when they're in the daytime or the morning or sort of, you know, the dusk and dawn sort of thing. It's, it's really nice. All those yachts and the, the lighthouse over there. It's cool. Skip the cutscene. No, I'm not skipping the cutscene. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. I think it's gonna push the button accidentally there. Look at that light coming up. Three men standing by their van, chatting, finishing off the day beautifully. That's the one. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Lovely. That's fantastic. Love it. Kind of almost panned in particularly on the truck, didn't it? It really did. I'll check the mirror. Yeah, let's work this round. I don't think we're going to have to worry about people coming here. Right, so we've got an hour and 15 to the next uh, destination. I think we can make this. I think we're good. So, um, yeah, so then up to this next junction, turn around, go that way. An hour and hour and 15. Um, I don't know how much time we've got left on the old sleeping thing, though. Uh, next rest stop in uh, two hours and 49. We're pushing it, but we could do it. We could do it. Try not to rip the side off the yacht this time round. On we go. Oh, the lights are not again are against us. It it hates us. It wants us doesn't want us to, to win. Checking the mirror again to come up to the line. There we go. Central mirror is very handy for seeing what's at the front of your truck or underneath it. Wait for it to go green. Come on. Come on. Don't know if I can put my brights on now. It's dark enough for the brights. I hope I don't get in the fence for doing that. Put the brights on though, they're on. Shouldn't really do that on the people though. Better turn them off and on again, depending on the scenario, aren't you? Not meant to hit people with the bright lights on them. I absolutely hate it when people drive at me with bright lights on. If you, you know when you're in a car in the night and somebody's got the. They don't, they don't dip their beams. Ugh. Drives me absolutely bonkers, that one. I'm properly obsessed with turning it off and on again when I'm in when I'm out in the in the in, when I'm out in the car or in the van. Obsessed with it on and off, on and off, depending on when when it's appropriate and not appropriate. Me looking left and right, waiting for the lights to change, desperately wanting to get this over with. The 66 kilometres to do, desperately wanted to, to to get across these roads and finally finish these runs. All right, you stay there then. I don't care. Were you turning that way? Whatever you were doing, you decided not to, to not to, not to, just to get out of my way. Now the roundabout, take the second exit. I'm on it. I have exited now, Doug. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. Here we go. We've got, we've got some toll gates. Which one's the one I can auto pass through? The one at the bottom. 40 kilometres an hour. There we go. Checking the mirrors, make sure we're not going to run into anybody. On we go. Okay, what do we want to do here, Doug? Straight on? Yeah, that's the one. Because it actually says it on the road as well. Don't speed, don't speed. There we go. Locked in the cruise control. There's nobody here, so I'm going to put the beams on. Nobody oncoming. So we'll behave ourselves. Go nice and slowly round here. And we 
will come down this way. Very quietly controlling myself at the moment because I know how close I am to this this thing being finished. Just controlling my behaviour. I can feel the, tr the, the, the trailer pushing, funnily enough. It's not very heavy, but it's pushing enough. Right, I'm going to come out here, because these guys, have, again, have, have got themselves all confused. You can stay there. If you can't work out how to get on the road, get off it in the first place. 44 minutes to go, 43 kilometres, nearly a full blue bed on the, the GPS there. Getting close to being uh, the red bed situation. We've not had one of them for a while, have we? We've not, we not had the panic. There's another crash on the other side of the road there, look. They're, they're, they're proper crashing into each other. When we, was in, when, when we were in Spain, God, that was a nightmare for crashes. They were they were all over me, weren't they? There, there definitely was difference in the driving style in the in the in Spain than there was somewhere else. It just seemed to maybe it was just the roads having an effect on the AI, but whatever it was, they were they were, they were definitely uh, um, all over the place when it came to crashing into people. So so yeah, not not much fun in that that sense. Right, 30, 30, um, 26 kilometres. Right, we really need a big load that takes us up into Austria. And then we want to get into France, because I really want to get France out of the way so that we can also see... So we can also see... He says coming over, because it goes down one lane. Um, we can also see in France um, the, that, that, the Tiger tank that, uh, that, uh, that uh, my friend uh, uh, Mark Middleton found in there. That would be very, very cool. I think that would be very, very cool. Paid the toll. Coming out the other side. Checking the mirrors. Almost hit a bollard. Broken town. Broken city. Sounds like a song from the 80s. We built this city on rock and roll. No? What was that? Was that Starship, wasn't it? Was it Starship? Not very good with the names and sort of things. I just like songs. I was talking to somebody about this the other day. I was saying, I was saying, I just got eclectic taste. I kind of like a bit of everything, you know. So, so just so many things that that I enjoy listening to. These lot really need to give over and not keep driving through through me. What are you doing? Yeah, quite. I've got quite eclectic tastes. I've left them high beams on, by the way. I don't know why I've done that. Go straight on. Lots of, lots of things are... Uh, oh, there's a little side road. There's a side road, by the way. I've just discovered one. There's the town, by the way, I've just discovered. There is a side road there. Right there. You know, I'm talking about side roads that can go down. There, right there. That's a side road. I could have driven down that. Because there was a way to turn onto it. There, look. And it comes out the other side. There is genuinely a side road there. At the roundabout, take I have the found way. one. Exit now. Exit now. We're exiting and we're making our way down the way. Can't go that way. He can go that way, but I can't go that way. Here we go. Look at all these... Um, um, uh, question marks here. We're gonna get loads of things that go ping, 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 ping when we come when we go along here. Straight on, straight on. Stay, stay on the road. I'm staying on the road. Wow. Fifty kilometres. There we go. We've got a load of places to go to ping up. So one is the Man dealership there. Mandela, yeah, and a viewpoint. Oh, straight on from us where we are. I'm not doing the viewpoint now, though. I'm going to do it in the morning. I knew he was going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do the viewpoint in the morning. So we're going to do the, that that in the morning. And down to this one. Get ready to turn right. Right, and round here to this one here. Right. Sorry, excited about this one. So another another marina. 
It's a jolly tight turn, this one. And I'm yawning. I'm yawning. The bed's not gone red yet. I'm quite surprised by that, actually. I'll be, I'll be brutally honest. I was expecting that to go to red a little bit earlier than that. So, um, let's swing this thing in here. I bet it wants... I bet it wants it right in front of me. Yep. Exactly what I thought. Right. Okay. There's plenty of space in here to turn around again. So we'll we'll use this we'll use this space as efficiently as possible to deliver this load, and then we'll find somewhere to spend the night in this town. And to next episode, we'll do the viewpoint. Simple as that. I'm gonna play really naughty here. Push F for hazards. There you go, hazards are on. I hope there's no cars underneath me here. Yeah. Oh, there was. Tough. They all stopped for me anyway. That's tough. Right, okay, let's look at my mirror. Yeah, I know. But I'm 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 playing I'm playing I'm playing cheaty cheat. Well, not cheaty cheat, but but let's play Let's park this thing and use some Use some some so, some so. shit. I knew that was coming. Do you know something? I knew that wall was there. I knew that wall was there. I knew it all along. I knew it all along. Now let's do it. I just clipped the wall again there. I saw it rumble. There we go. Clipping it again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This could be the first time ever that I've launched a boat with a, with bite bite with a... <laughs> you imagine if I did that? Oh my god. That would be amazing. Launched a boat without actually doing whatever else it is. So let's just let's, let's do that. Let's get rid of those. I'm so close to the water at the moment as well. Imagine I fall asleep now. We've had it. A little bit of manoeuvring. He's giving it a big yawn. Love that big yawn. Give that yawn. Give that yawn a go. And swing, swing, swing. I knew that would work. I knew that would work, he says, very confidently, as if he knew it was going to work. I knew it was going to work, and we got the achievement. We've managed to do it. So now we need to find somewhere to stay for the night, because we're, we're, we're at a point of yawning. That was a good one, actually. It was, a, it was a fairly simple one. It was a quick journey, realistically. It wasn't that far. 70 kilometres. I took ages to get there, because I basically I loaded, unloaded, and also looked at the viewpoint. So, so a little bit longer than probably needed to be, but that's fine. Right, now let's have a look at the world map quickly. So we've, we've cleared this off. Which is excellent news. Now we just need to find somewhere to stay for the night. What have we got? There is a petrol station here. Let's go to this petrol station. We'll go past there. That looks good to me. So we'll do that and then we'll come back for that in the morning. Because there's no point in doing it in the night because it'll be horrible. So we'll do that in the morning. Right, let's get go do that. Let's drive. Let's drive. Drive button. I love the drive button. It's just a drive. drive okay, let's go. It ain't weird that I can that I've got to go looping back around on myself. I suppose. Uh, right. Ha! Look at her face. Look at her face. She's not. She's not happy. She's like, nah. Is there a car underneath me though? Yes, I'm pushing the car. Oops. Oops. My bad. Trying to get out desperately and I just pushed that car a little bit. Just give it a little nudge, a little little dent. Little dent in the uh the, the side of it. Just a just a small little kiss from the uh front of the truck. 
probably buckled in the entire side of the car, to be fair. But anyway, that's what happens, though. This is when you, you know, you only see those movies or those blunts movies, those, those sort of clips of uh, truckers who end up with a car attached to the, the sort of front of their vehicle and they don't see it and, and they, they're just pushing it. Um, I mean, I'm not, sh I'm not, obviously, I don't think this game's quite that kind of, you know, realistic in the sense of the, 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 the feel that you would have if you managed to do that with a vehicle, but, but certainly, um, you know, from, 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 from a friend of mine was managed to get caught up, um, it was a truck like this one with, well, not this one, but, but basically it was a, it was a, uh, uh, left-hand drive truck um, and when he was joining the motorway the left-hand truck caught this didn't see this tiny vehicle in his mirror there and um, caught the vehicle and pushed it um, at 50 miles per hour for for almost um, three miles and when he realized after lots of people were beeping their horns at this truck driver uh, they realized that uh, that he'd got it he, he applied his brakes quite firmly thus jettisoning my friend and his car um, in a pirouette um, across the, uh, the, 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 the the motorway. Um, thankfully, the car was right off, but my, my friend wasn't hurt in any way. But but it's quite scary to think that that, that, that was possible, um, that, that, you know, that you could scoop a vehicle up underneath it, and it does actually happen. So, look at that. It's just, the bed's just gone red, and we're all good. We're there. We found the place. We found the place. Let's push the button to, to do the sleeping thing. And then we'll save it here. And well, well, we'll save it. I'll save it. And you, you, you can wait till next week until we do it again. Let's have a look at this, though. Perfect timing. Nice and early as well. Look at that. Nice house over the road as well. Quite an agricultural... Uh, not agricultural. Quite um, sort of industrial looking place over the back, though. There, It's fair enough. Perfect. We can get some, we can get some diesel as well after this episode. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next week. I'll see you soon. Bye bye now.